All right, guys, we're in another section of the yard. You can see hoops are over here. We just hopped the fence. <laughs> so I forget about this area because my blueberries are here and I, I kind of don't come along. But when I do, I was like, oh, yeah, whoopsie daisy, guys, rue. Anybody heard of rue? Okay, rue's amazing. Now, I'm not going to say you're going to sit and make a salad out of it. You're definitely not. Um, but, again, it's medicinal benefits. Number one, it's a bee pollinator. Look it, a bee just came over here. And let me tell you, I haven't seen many bees. Um, number two, oddly enough, even though the bee is liking the flowers, it is a major insect repellent, guys. You got fleas and bugs, yucky old stuff. Uh, you want something on your skin? Make an insect repellent. They don't like this stuff. This also helps with women's menstrual flows and cramping, guys. I mean, I, I don't even know. There's so many things uh, I could name on this. I believe rheumatoid arthritis it helps with also. Um, another fantastic garden herb. And as you notice, guys, look, it's not harming anything. It's not coming evasive. Get yourself a plant. I may be wrong, but I believe even the flowers could be used for something. But I did know mainly it was an insect repellent. We all need that in our houses, on ourselves, with the skeeters and the bugs and the fleas, your pets. Get into something medicinal, guys, and get away from the crap that's killing us all. I mean, we, I think we've all done enough of that. And if we can avoid it a little bit, it'll make a huge difference. So, again, this is rue, and it's flowering right now, as you see. Now, if we move up here, guys, I was wanting to get to this, too. This is ashkawanda. Now, I meant to harvest all this. And this is a beast. It was actually not a plant, just so I don't scare you. This was like uh, maybe 20 plants. Uh, I commonly overseed. I love to do that. <laughs> and I was gonna harvest the whole plant and the roots because ashkawanda is an adapt adaptogen. <laughs> Got it, adaptogen. Um, which means it's good for everything. I mean, I'll really be honest on that. Uh, this has so many uses. I'm not going to go down the, all the uses with you guys. I'd have to pull my phone out. There is so many. You've all seen it at the store. You've all already bought it. And you're thinking it's some crazy plant you can't grow is why you're paying $36 for 16 ounces. <laughs> well, guess what, guys? This looks like this could be a 50-gallon drum full by the time I grind <laughs> it up. Uh, what's amazing about Ashkawanda is you can see I'm in zone 9A. You don't have to be in 9A, it grows in a lot of areas. It is like warm weather, but it'll do good if you're probably not in Alaska. Sorry, Alaska <laughs> guys, you're probably gonna have to buy it. Um, it went through a whole blooming last year. If we look close enough, I could probably find, here we go, seed pods. They look like lanterns. Uh, so you see these little lanterns here? This is, it's already starting to flower. Can you believe it? And here's old ones from last year. These are seed pods right here. They're usually bright red. If I open it, oh no, look at what that is. A trillion ashkawanda seeds. Whoops, what just happened? <laughs> I just seeded more. Okay, guys. So what I'm trying to teach you is let your stuff flower. You cannot play God. It's a wonder we can even seed this stuff on our own. God does the best. You notice that plant that he grew looked great. The tomato that was a, you know, volunteer and the one you grew, you're like, why does it look sickly? <laughs> so I'm saying seed your own, but always when you like it, want to use more. I tell people when they go, oh my God, I hate it. It seeded in my yard. I had it everywhere. Yes, there's a rule of thumb to this, guys. When it does that, you harvest everything that year. Okay, you do not let it get out of control because it will take over. But if you go back in when your lemon bomb is blown out all over the yard or the ashkawanda's everywhere, you pull these just after one season, let them dry. You got medicinal stuff forever, guys. So you just have to remember when it does that, it was seeding for a reason. Not mm -hmm. so you could just sit on the mother plant hating its babies. <laughs> um, you, there's a reason for this and you could always cut it back before it seeds but definitely this one i let go to seed guys um look into growing it in your area i believe this is african ashkawanda and there is like two different types it grows very well uh where you've got some sunshine guys and all you're going to use is every square inch of it i mean it's not like you have to have the root they use the leaves everything i think you don't grind up the seed pods of course but i can almost promise you're using them for something uh, mm -hmm. because there's so much in the seed that's good for us so again ashkawanda guys and rue 
get in the garden, grow some medicinal herbs, tea alone. I slip this into chia, chia puddings and you name it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hide it in everything. I treated my dogs for a long time, their thyroid disease and we're adding this in there. And it was amazing. They didn't even look like the same dogs. I just got lazy. <laughs> it's too hard to help everyone else. I stopped helping myself. <laughs> um, but like I say, get in the garden, grow some of this fun stuff, guys. You'll realize that it's something that you can come back out once in a while and it's doing its own thing and just enjoy it.